Hi, I'm Professor Stephanie, and today we're going to do uh, some orthographic views of a birdhouse. Uh, as you can see, the bird. This is the birdhouse we're going to work on. It's got two openings, two places for the birds to perch on. It's got a simple roof, and what I mean by orthographic drawings are drawings that are a plan view, a front elevation view, or a side view. And when we talk about putting them together as a multi-view, we are aligning them so that their um, properties um, horizontally and vertically are, you're able to draw them and they communicate together, they work together. And I think um, you'll understand this as we walk through it. So we're going to end up with a drawing that looks like this. We have our plan view on top, the front view elevation, and a side view, view elevation. You'll notice here there's a special line that goes through here. This is what's called a fold line. And these um, guidelines all come from this fold line and connect um, to scale with each other. A couple of other things to remember. Uh, on the floor plan, you'll see we're going to work with a very dark, solid line around the perimeter. Uh, so that's the perimeter of the birdhouse looking down. You'll also see where the um, root, roof pitch line is. The dotted line represents the line of what's you can't see what's underneath it. So it's the outside rim. It's the outside of the walls that are connected to the birdhouse. So let's take a look at how that's going to work. I have prepared um, a pencil drawing that has some of the guides on there so I can show you this as we go along. Again, there's our um, floor plan. Uh, it's to scale. I've, I've got this on grid paper so that I have the proportions uh, correct and this little nose piece here that's actually what you see and I want to see if we can show you that when you look down at this whoops there we go there's the perch right there that's sticking out so that's what that is there and I'm going to use my thicker marker for the actual drawing and then I have a just a regular black pen and I'm going to create some guidelines this is going to be my guideline for the edge of the roof there's the guideline for that wall. Uh, I'm going to use the center here because that's, that point's very important to me. Here's another guideline here and that outside. So now I have already um, the starts and stops for my roof and my walls. I've also taken time to measure from left to right the horizontal uh, what this measurement here, and I've put that into the proportion, and I've also measured uh, how the openings and the perches, the, their proportion to each other and the size. So I'm going to add the roof here, and again I've done some measuring. Here's the outside wall of the bird house and then I'm connecting the bottom. So again, that was measured. I knew what those measurements were and I've made some, uh, made those marks on the paper before I got started. The other line that's really, a couple of other lines that are really important to me and I'm not doing that very well, but that should be a straight line, is the center of the first circle opening, the perch, second circle opening, and the perch. Again, I'm using just a smaller pencil. I measured that circle. I have, you know, what the middle is. This middle is kind of funky because I, I'm not very working very straight. The straight line there. Excellent. So we have the roof, which helped us with some key lines uh, for the proportion of the elevation. Let's look at the side elevation because again, we're going to be able to get our cues. The way we've lined this up, we can get our cues from the elevation. So that's where the, the top of the roof would be. Here's this point here. Um, I'm also going to be able to get where the perches are. See, that's going to be my center. Go ahead and put in this fold. 
can see it's it's created with a line and a couple of dots. That distinguishes it from other lines that are important and it's also thinner. You know, the thinner the line, uh, to me those can be guidelines, those can be used to just help us know where we're going. The other interesting thing is we're going to put a 45 degree angle and create another way that we can get guidelines from the floor plan and you can see how that's going to connect here and it's going to give me some key parts that come from the floor plan that we now can put on our side elevation. Alright, so I've got two sets of guidelines, horizontally and vertically, and I can get started with drawing the side elevation. Oops, I keep dinging that camera. So there's part of our side, and I'm going to just grab it real quick. You can see that's what we're looking at. A couple of details that we want to pay attention to. One is our purchase. It kind of stick out there. The other is we want to show this space right here. See how this comes down and we have the space right in there? That's going to be hidden. You don't see it when you look at the piece, but we want to be able to note where that is. And you can see I got it from right here. Great. So in review, I've used a fold line, and if you can visualize that now, if we were to fold that, flip that down, that would give us our roof. If we'd flip the side around, we would have um, the three dimensions, uh, a three-dimensional object, we'll put this as flat. So we've drawn our roof plan in proportion, used guidelines to help us get the front measured out, um, and this is again on grid paper, so that was figured to scale. And then also we can use our guidelines from the elevation and the floor plan to get our uh, side view. So this is a multi-view of the birdhouse. Thank you.